Hi, Jessica from the E-Rank team here, and today I'm going to give you a walkthrough of E-Rank's listing audits tool. This is a great feature we have so that you can see where you can improve listings in your Etsy shop. So first off, how do we get there? Well, we're going to start at our E-Rank dashboard, which is your homepage when you're on erank.com. On the left-hand navigation bar, you'll see listing optimization. If you click on that, listing audits should show up in the drop-down menu. Once you click on that, you'll be brought to a page showing all of the active listings in your shop. From here, you can pick any listing to perform a listing audit on. Today, I'm just going to do this coffee mug because it's at the top of our list. So I'm going to click the listing audit button and wait for the tool to load. Once the tool loads, I'm going to minimize my navigation bar so that we can get a full picture of this tool. So here we are. This is what a listing audit page looks like. It's going to give you a whole lot of information about this listing. So let's just go step by step. First, in this blue box on the left-hand side, you will see the thumbnail for this listing as well as the full title. You'll also see a grade in the top left-hand corner, A through E. These are not measurements of how good your keywords are or how well the SEO is optimized for your listing. This is a grade that kind of works like a checklist to see how well your listing follows Etsy's best practices. If you have any listings that are performing well for you, even if they have a D or an E grade, we recommend you do not touch them because you never know what changes you make, how it might affect buyer behavior. Next to the thumbnail and the full title, you'll see listing metrics and history for this listing. This listing doesn't have any sales, so it just has dashes instead but you can still see daily views, overall views, the number of favorites, quantity available, and the visibility score. Visibility score is a percentage that changes over time, usually quite slowly if the listing is kind of old. It's a measurement of how frequently your item is seen against all other similar listings on Etsy. Next to the metrics, we have history. So this says how old the listing is and gives you a few dates as to when it was created and when it needs to be updated. Next, we have our new notes section. This is a great place for you to leave notes to self about this listing. Say you want to change the photos or you need to update some holiday tags or you want to change something in the description at a later date. Leave yourself a little note here so you can come back and not forget. So we'll scroll down a little bit. So this is the box showing a superstar keyword. So a superstar keyword is a very good keyword that you want to be known for for this listing. You want it to be specific, but not too specific. It's kind of hard to find that balance sometimes. So for an example, if I were to just say coffee mug, that would probably be too broad because there are millions of listings on Etsy and coffee mug is just not niched down enough. Maybe if I put something as small business owners mug, that might bring a little more traffic and be easier to rank for since fewer listings are probably using that keyword. If I scroll down a little more, I'll see the suggestions box. So this box, helps you align your listing with Etsy's best practices. We do have a button here if you want to go to Etsy and take a look at the best practices yourself. However, we do show you where in the listing you might be able to better optimize. So for here, we have flags for the title, tags, images, and attributes. This is just a demo listing, so there's things wrong on purpose in here, but ideally you would have all green or no suggestions at all. Again, if you have a listing that's performing well, don't touch it, even if there are suggestions here, because you don't want to mess up your views and your traffic. I'm going to scroll down a little more, and this is going to show a title analysis. So you have 140 characters in your title, and it's best to optimize it the way that you can fit as many keywords in as possible without sounding robotic or like you're stuffing them in. So for example, I wouldn't want to say coffee mug, tea mug, coffee cup, tea cup. It's just very repetitive 
And Etsy mixes and matches all the words in your tags and title already to broad match you for searches. So you wanna use phrases instead. Etsy recommends two to four phrases that sound more like a person speaking versus a robot. So for here, we have blue E-rank coffee mug, stylish teacup for home office, unique hot drink handled coffee cup, tea mug for small business owner. So those are short phrases instead of just robotic choppy keywords, which help us be found in more searches. The yellow part that you see is generally what buyers will see on a search page. This can vary between computer settings and desktop versus mobile, but it's an overall guess. It also shows you the word count and the character count that you currently have. So the suggestion we have here is to put the most important keywords near the start of your title. The reason for this is that that is what most buyers will see right away. So you wanna be able to catch their attention. Scrolling down a little more, we'll see the tag analysis. So you have 13 tag slots in each listing and you want to use all 13. They don't have to make sense. They can be a mix and match jumble of words if you can't seem to get all of your keywords to fit in that 20 character space. This listing only has five tags, so there is definitely room for optimization there. You can see that we have coffee mug, E-Rank brand, E-Rank merchandise, ceramic teacup, and small business as our tags right now. You'll notice that they're all multi-word tags. Some of them have typos because E-Rank isn't a word in the English language. And this will also tell you if you have it at the start of your title or if you've used this keyword in your description. Descriptions are not used for query matching, which is what buyers type into the search bar. Instead, they're used based on the preferences of the buyer. So say someone is shopping for a coffee mug and they always seem to favorite or purchase blue things. If I said in the description, this blue coffee mug, then this listing might get matched with the personalization performed with that buyer because they like blue things. There's no need to copy and paste your title right into your description because it does not affect the query matching. Right now, this listing has no attributes, but if it did, they would show here. It also shows the category that this listing is in, as well as the description. And we will highlight in yellow keywords that you've used in your tags in your description. You can also see the length of the, the, length of the description here as well. And it'll also show you the images and flag if you have missing slots. You have 10 photo slots and one video slot per listing, and you want to try to use all of them whenever you can. This is a print on demand item, so the photos shown are mock-ups. I could add in some other photos of me holding the coffee mug if I ordered a sample, or I could put in some graphics about my shop. Maybe a slide showing me doing some work on my computer or how the item comes packaged, etc. This will also show you processing times, sales history, and how this listing will look on Google. So as you can see, this is a really useful way to get an overall sense of a listing. It gives you suggestions on where you can improve and shows you how well the listing is currently performing. I hope that this tutorial was helpful for you and we look forward to helping you on your Etsy journey.